Well, good day, viewers. Welcome back to the Bucket of Bolts Moto Vlog. Bolt Bucket. But quickly, let's get that intro out of the way. Now I was watching uh, Rhino, hope I got that right, and his awesome video down in Florida, a nice beach and that, and a little bit of back and forth comments, cheers mate, and I kind of consider myself a bit lucky that of where I actually live, so if you haven't realised yet, I'm in Adelaide, some of you know this area, some of you interstate overseas won't. But down at a little place called Christie's Beach at the moment, not far from home. And we are in winter here, and I've finally got that little bit of a chance to get out. So I thought I'll take you for a quick little ride. Can you see what it's like, even in the winter time? So here we call the Esplanade, and in the summer time this place is just packed. Cars, bikes, people walking, like all the beach goers. It's a bit choppy at the moment down there. But she does get bloody beautiful. Sand is nice and all. And th this is just one of many. Try and give them a little bit of room. So if you can see that. We've got the Port Nalunga Jetty over there. How's that? Fishing, scuba diving, snorkeling, all out there. We get sharks in here. Boats come in. This is where you got the Surf Life Saving Club just there. Check out that feed dark. But anyway, you might have seen some of my photos, Instagram and that. One morning, before the sun came out, there's some beautiful lighting there. Awesome pictures. So this is only a few minutes away from where I live. Bit of scuba divers there. Some new development. Need ice cream, whatever. Port burger. And you got the Porties Hotel. Yeah, Charlie, we kind of narrow everything down, I guess you could say. Coming from Port Nalunga, we're going over this bridge here. So this is coming out to the mouth, which we'll see in a bit. We got the ever so popular Jubilee Playground here, which a whole heap of kids in the districts, I can't even remember when, some years ago, they actually helped put that together. I wasn't one of them. I think my sister helped though. Alright, so we're turning right here. Hopefully they can see me. Cool. Alright. So back on Esplanade. Now this stretch, this is an awesome stretch here. Again, you got the cyclist. People skating, I've skated here as well on that longboard. And that bridge, I've fished off that a few times now. We get all sorts in through here as well. I'm no real fisherman or anything, it's been quite some time. But we do, do get a bit of the marine life come through. And so it is a popular spot. We get a lot of kayaking, canoeing through here too. And there you can see the surf life saving.
idea. So this is the mouth. Now you get a lot of people will park over here, or we'll go past in a sec, walk down, and you can just walk across. In the summertime, you get a lot of stages where the water is that far out, it's there's hardly anything in there. And you can see by the little sandbar over there, there's birds just walking along. It's not very deep right there at all. Well, there'll be events down here, you guys that surf life saving and all that, girls as well, have their events. Well, it's a nice spot. Again, it's not far. And we are in winter here. We've just been lucky to get a little bit of a small break in the rain and all that to come out today. Alright, let's show you some more. So here we are coming onto Seaford. Now, this is where I grew up. It was just basically behind that two story beigey house, just that one street back, that's where I lived. It's a nice wagon. So, Seaford Beach. So, in perspective, we'll look down here for a sec see just down there, two houses in, that's where I was living. Short walk, come down here. Now just down there, there's this little horseshoe reef, and it was awesome. A buddy, I went, used to go stalking there all the time. You'd surf just off to the right when you get down. There's some rocks there, but you had a lot better surf. Plenty of overheads. The snorkeling was bloody fun. Again, with that marine life, we used to have lighting and all come in there. It might have changed a bit these days, but when I was a kid, it was bloody awesome. So, in perspective, we're riding it today, but when I was a bit younger, my cousin and I, we used to go down to Seaford, and we'd go for a swim. And we'd be swimming all along here. Now, no way I'd be able to do that these days. It's been a long time. I'm not fit anymore. And we'd be going all the way down to a place called Moana. Now, Moana is basically the place to be when you're down here. If you ever come to Adelaide, it's a beach you really want to check out in the summertime, or well, any time really, but summertime this place gets booming. Australia Day that we have here, it, it's hard to see the beach at, in some areas. As you can see from probably back here, you can actually park and drive on the beach. So everyone's here. Doesn't matter how like nearly the temperature, nearly every Australia Day is packed. It's a bloody awesome beach. Quickly pull in here. So I used to swim from Seaford to here. Sometimes we'd go back, sometimes we'd walk back to his place, it's a bit closer than mine. But the good thing about this beach is it's a bit choppy today, it's normally pretty flat. It's just sand. Now go down, you'll feel it get a bit deeper, and it'll go back up. That's bloody awesome. So, for a family beach, this this is where why everyone comes here. You don't have to worry about rocks. We've had dolphins come in here. We had dolphins coming to Seaford, we had stingrays coming to Seaford. Never really took notice to the old Steve Irwin accident. 
I used to come right up to you. Uh, Cousin and I will be there. We wouldn't even bat an eye, really. It's just, oh, yep. Yeah. We'd have great whites come in. There'll be a few times we'll be out swimming, snorkeling, and all of a sudden there's people buddy waving stuff on the buddy at the top. Oh, what the hell are they doing? Oh, there's a shark in the way. We do have a helicopter service that will come to try and make people aware. building there. I won't go on the beach today. So you got an idea. This is Moana Beach. And then you'll see it from one of my other videos down at Salix is down that way a bit further. That one's a bit longer stretch, a bit nicer to go along. Alright. a little idea of what I get to live with Hope you enjoyed today's vid. It's been nice kind of showing you a bit more about me, what I get to live with, and there'll be plenty more. Until next time, see ya.